Hey guys, I'm Dieter Melhorn and today we're going to go over some tips and techniques for dragging, drifting, and trolling for catfish in the fall. Alright guys, I think I got my first hook up. Small fish will take. I'm sitting here listening to the weather report. This is uh this is being shot it's a few days before Irma's getting ready to hit the U.S. Uh, kind of getting a little bead on what's going on, where it's going to hit, where they're thinking it's going to hit. And uh, so let's be heading to the coast next week, a couple days after it. Trying to do some fishing down there, so I'm trying to get an idea of just how bad it's going to be. I think we're going to be okay up here. Little channel cat. Look right down here. Bam. Open your mouth so you can pose for the way. I'll hold you that way. Nice little channel cat. Getting a bunch of small ones here lately. Don't know what's up with that. Blues have been somewhat elusive, but we're catching a few. But keep dragging them. That one's on the planter board. Got six rods out, four on planter, two straight out the back. So uh, dragging some brim around. Try to catch some perch. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, this is one of the first halfway cool mornings of the year. We're coming into fall. Uh, temperatures are starting to get down into the 50s at night, which is really nice for us. Uh, the daytime temperatures are in the 70s. It's really nice. Starting to get that first little hint of fall. I've actually got a long sleeve shirt on. I was out here yesterday, and I had a jacket on yesterday evening. So we're getting into that good time of the year, that sweet spot, fall, when you can catch a lot of fish. It's a great time to be dragging baits drifting trolling whatever you want to call it it's a good time to be covering water fish are scattered they're feeding water temperatures are comfortable there's a lot of bait scattered around the lake uh, you can pretty much catch fish catch fish from one end of the reservoirs to the other uh, here in the south uh, it's just really really good fishing and a really good time to be out on the water another small fish happy to be catching fish we just ain't catching those size it's a good bite uh we finished up last night with 14 fish, ended up going live uh, for a while on YouTube and uh, caught a bunch of fish, uh, no super huge ones, some 10, 12, 13 pound fish, a lot of fish this size right here, uh, a lot of channel cats for some reason, and uh, but a good bite, I mean that's an excellent bite in the little bit of time we spent on the water fishing. Uh, I think we were only out for about four hours last night. So. Put that many fish in the boat, it's pretty good. That one was on a rattle, another channel cat. A lot of these small channels today for some reason. I don't know what it is. We'll take them, we'll keep catching them. All right, guys, I'm in a battle. <laughs> With a decent fight size fish and a number eight circle hook. Not an eight alt, a number eight circle hook. It's on my perch rod. I got plenty of line. The line's plenty. I got 20 pound line. Problem is, that's a little bitty hook. Uh. Uh. This will be the most fun fish all day. Oh, that's a big blue. That's a teener sized blue. Oh, oh, oh he's big. I'm going to net him just to do it. I'm going to net this fish just, just so I can say I caught him. If I get this fish to the boat, you're going to be shocked at how little this hook is. Like I said, this is a number eight circle hook. Wow, this is tough. This is tough. Ah, oh, got him. <laughs> Catching them up. You can catch them on big rods and big line and big hooks all day long, but when you catch them on a hook that's as big as my pinky nail, that's cool. Look at this thing in the boat. Lucky the hook actually got in him. I get this thing. There we go. Good fish. Nice one. Like I said, we got the top of that channel ledge. Where the biting fish are, they're not in the river channel, they're not deep. They're 
scattered up here on this flat, which is where most of the bait's at. And that's usually if you find the bait, you'll find the fish. Nope. A little bigger channel cap. Not much bigger though. Not much bigger at all. A lot of channel cats today. Matter of fact, the only blue that I caught all day has been the one that I caught on the number eight uh, hook that I was trying to catch perch on. That is the only blue that I've caught. All right, I got everything stopped right now. You can see my line. I came right down through here. It's where I was catching fish, catching fish, catching fish. Made the turn. By the time I got my waypoint in, I caught that blue somewhere right in there on the edge. Went into here, drug up through here for a little bit, never got bit, never got bit, never got bit until I got all the way up to here. Those lines were already back at the top of that channel edge. So that tells me right there that the biting fish are up on this flat. So uh, it's uh, not rocket science, but uh, sometimes you have to cover some water, uh, drag some baits for a while, not get bit, try some different depths and different variations uh, until you find the fish. Now this is a great time of year to do that. Uh, doesn't always work in different times of the year. Winter time, uh, these fish may be held tight to structure. You may need to be anchoring to get them to bite. Uh, may not be as good a bite rate, uh, you know, catch rate as what we got today. I mean, we've got, I just clicked off those last two, eight fish in the boat, and I've probably been out here two hours, uh, which is a great, great catch rate. So, uh, you know, this is the time of the year. Fall's the time to be out here dragging. It's a great time to work on your dragging, drifting, and trolling techniques. Was these fish are still scattered. Water temperature mild. Right now our water temperature in here I think is right around 80 degrees. Let me click over to another screen here. Uh, 78 degrees. So it's beautiful water temperatures right now to be out fishing. And it'll be like this through, you know, the end of October. We'll be on a good scattered bite. Then water temperatures are going to drop a little bit. Uh, it'll be a little different fishing then. But for now, this early fall, late summer, early fall, it's a good time to uh, drag and drift and troll, cover water, put catfish in the boat. All right, guys, this is getting comical at this point. We've got another one on the perch row. All right, wrapped around there. This is kind of goofy. At least this time it's a channel kit. We'll take them any way we can get them. There it is. A little bigger one. I think that's about number 10 in the boat. Good day. Good day on the water. No complaints. Appreciate you guys watching with that one. I'm going to take it to the house. Uh, as always, leave any comments or questions you have down in the uh, comment section below. Love to hear from you. And hit subscribe if you like the channel. That way you can stay up to date on everything that comes out, all the new videos, that kind of stuff. Look forward to seeing you on the water.